Hey guys, so can we identify that I have decided in this moment in time to daily vlog Summerween and yet here we are. It is actually July 3rd. It is day two of Summerween and I didn't vlog at all yesterday so I decided on day two to daily vlog. But that's fine. So yeah, yesterday was the first day but I literally read... 20-ish pages at like 11 p.m. and then immediately went to sleep last night so I literally did almost no reading yesterday but this morning I had a really busy day and then it was like 3 p.m. and I was like let's daily vlog so as you can tell I'm in a hammock in my back patio porch area and it's hot it's humid it's been raining we love to see it. I'm, re I'm wearing a shirt and it says, reading is spooktacular. It's very fitting for today. So I started Home Before Dark. That's my first read. That's what we're gonna work with. And I'm loving it. I'm not that far in. I'm like 20-ish pages in. So I hope you can hear the cicadas because they're screaming. Um, but that's what we're doing. I'm gonna get to reading and I will find something to tell you guys later. Something to do later. Okay, so it is much later now and I just wanted to update you guys a little bit and then get this rolling so you guys can see this tomorrow. But I ended up getting to 33% of Home Before Dark and I'm actually l loving it. I'm obsessed with it. I, so if you don't know because hopefully you saw my TBR video before this, but Home Before Dark by Riley Sager is about a girl who her parent her parents bought this haunted house and her dad is a freelance writer and so the house basically is haunted and he writes this best-selling book about it and they the whole haunting stuff happened when she was five and she hasn't been in the house since then and she is 25 or she's 30. I think now and she goes back to the house and she's like my dad's book is bullshit I don't remember any of it so we're gonna find the truth and show everybody that like this stuff didn't the haunting stuff didn't actually happen basically and it goes back and forth between her in the present dealing with that and then her dad's book is the opposing chapters so it's a book within a book and also the storyline of the book. But I'm obsessed with it. I got to a part where Maggie, the main character, goes back to the house for the first time. And I was like, I was sitting with my mom while I was reading it. And I was like, mom, can I read you the description of the house like Maggie's walking into? She's like, oh yeah, sure. And so I start reading her the description. And then after the chapter is over, I'm like, like, isn't that cool? Like, don't you, like, isn't that, it's kind of scary. And she was like, oh my God, keep reading. So I literally kept reading for like a couple hours and I read like 15 or 20% of the book to her and we're about 33% of the way through right now. And I, she's into it. So now I have to go read like something else because my mom's ready to go to bed and she wants to hear the rest of it. And I feel bad like continuing to read without her so after I like do everything with this vlog, I'm gonna probably go read something else. I'm not sure yet. And you'll definitely see in tomorrow's video what else I pick up. But 
so far, this is probably Riley Sager's best work, in my opinion, because I've read all of his other books. But I'm scared, kind of. I want to know if it's going to be like a situation where it's like, oh, you think it's a ghost. And then in the end, it's going to be like, oh, this person was doing all of it. Or she was crazy. Or if it's actually going to be like ghosts. Here are ghosts. The ghosts happen. So I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do. And I'm here for it. I'm here for whatever. I'm here for all of it. Riley Sager could literally do anything. And I'd be like masterpiece, 10 out of 10. So, today's vlog, shit, um, because I decided last minute on the second day to daily vlog. Tomorrow will definitely be better. I will bring you along with my life. I will actually do something. Tomorrow is the 4th of July, I just realized, and I have no plans. Zero. Zero plans. So, I'll probably make something up. I'm, if the gym is open, I'm definitely going to try to sneak into the gym at some point tomorrow when I think there's going to be no one there. And then read, try to find a location that is not my home to be at where there's nobody there, which will be impossible because people will be everywhere, which is fine. But yes, so... I hope you enjoyed my very short last minute day two of summer ween and hopefully tomorrow will be better. If you actually watch this video, you're probably my friend and not just a random person. You probably like actually speak to me every day and want to know my life. So thank you for watching. If you are just not my friend, you want to be friends. Um, if you made it this far, put a ghost emoji down in the comments. Um, ooh, and do a ghost or like a house or do a house and a ghost because Home Before Dark is about a haunted house. That's, yes, do that. So that is all I have for you guys. Do whatever you want. Um, hopefully you'll come back for tomorrow because tomorrow's video is going to be 10 times better than this. So if you sat through this, you're going to love to see tomorrow. But bye guys.